gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months I held back my loins' heart desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. And then I shall pluck your ripe virginity. <laughs> Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will! Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man! Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a lack of morals. And a surfeit of cakes. <coughs> Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command? Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Lighten up, for God's sake. that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. 
Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt. When did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him. But there's good news, too. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No, once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. Not bad, not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general, what did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are, your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now.
bet you made back there at Lockmore. <laughs> hurts as much as life. What's he doing here? This is scandalous. Been helped us off the day. The fruit on my cart's rotting. Seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Would have watched the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let us stay. Look at her, all oh, weepy eyed. Like my mud saver, his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Don't really feel like it. You two play. <sighs> All right. You know the basics, that's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. Girls, go after him. 
Leave these here to us. Watch out! Three more shits out the hole! Shit, lost him. Rode through here. Gotta look for tracks. Are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Come on. Anyone right through here? Two men. One slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, I something of the kind dashed by. Turned left there. But twere a wench you were carrying, swearing on me head, squealing and wailing so. started limping. so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, Hunter's barricaded himself inside. There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this Hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door around the back. Thanks. And I'll try to be sure that you won't try and I'll go with you. It's not like I really have a choice to do it. And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could really mean that might have quite been you. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lie, like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Hankwack by Count the Letting Home. Right, kill more. Everybody calls you Dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call an assumed identity. You can't expect me to reveal my full title to every goitered idiot I run across. Now, if you could just unbind, you can make a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Give him no choice. Die, damn it! <laughs> Oh! 
Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lass to thank for his reason after years. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe, given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Doo-Doo? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When'd you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. the bitch.
course! We have to! We're almost there! What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Is that all you care about? The ballads this'll inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's gotta come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Horson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Reuven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Glad of Dorn Ep Tonight Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. 
Even less to me. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Portrait of the Hierarch. Nice. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just, uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Farewell. 